don't take Second Amendment rights for granted. Um, <clears throat> I did. Um, There's a point in time in my life where I couldn't own any firearms. So, with that saying, um, when I got to the point where I was able to have firearms again, it was nothing for me to get into that was a hard decision. Um, sometimes we forget. This is one of those things that makes us the greatest country in the world is the fact that we can own guns. To me, that's a part of it. You know, um, we are the freest country in the world, whether you want to believe it or not. So, that being said, don't take Second Amendment things for granted. You know, enjoy your guns. Enjoy going to the range. Enjoy spending time with friends. Because, you know, they're trying to take it away from us. And they can take it away from us as long as they stay in power. And I'm not calling out any parties or anything like that. We all know who we're talking about. But stand up for your Second Amendment rights. You know, it's a lot of good people out there with guns that don't mean no harm, that love going to the range, that love spending time with friends. And this is one of those things I do. Um, yeah, I stay in a dangerous city. Just is what kicked it off. And somebody tried to rob me. Um, coming out of my mom's house after getting off work at 12 a.m. one night. But, ever since I've went public and um, started purchasing guns, trying them out, setting guns up, making sure they work, um, sharing videos on my YouTube page, sharing videos on my Facebook and Instagram page, you know, I'm going to tell you, it's been a life, and I've had the time of my life doing this. Um, the fact that my son is into it and wants to be a gunsmith only <laughs> only accelerates <laughs> this with me, this passion I have with me. So, you know, needless to say, um, enjoy your guns. Take them out, clean them, take them to the range. Have fun, because I know that gives me life. It gives me a new breath in life, being able to go out on my days off. Um, my family has land, so we don't have to pay somebody to go use um, their land or gun ranges or anything like that. But once again, you know, these are things that I took for granted, being a young man and being a knucklehead. But being older, wiser, and um, raising some awesome, awesome kids. Um, and I do, I have some awesome kids. This is why I can teach them gun safety. And, you know, they enjoy being out on the range with me, especially Junior. Um, he'll, <laughs> I don't care what's going on. This boy put it down. If I say I'm going, hey, I'm going out to the country to shoot guns, he don't care what's going on. He's going to be there with me. And the joy I get out of that, it's unmatched. So, once again, y'all don't take the Second Amendment things for granted because that's what makes us the United States, you know. And to me, them... <clears throat> Growing this 2A community is very important to me. It's very important to me to bring awareness to law-abiding people out there that wants to or needs protection. So um, get out there, get trained, learn gun safety, invite your friends. You know, a lot of times people you know, on the other side of the aisle, you know, and I'm not talking about politics because you have some, some on the right 
that don't like guns. And truthfully, there's a lot of people on the left that loves guns too, just as much as people on the right. <clears throat> me, I sit in between. I'm a doesn't matter to me. I'm a you know, I'm just the type of guy that just love guns. I don't do politics or anything like that. I used to, but I really understand that politicians are it's a job just like I have a job. You know, everybody wants a position of power. You know, so that's why all that boils down to, you know, them having control over you. And it's just like me. I'm a manager, you know, restaurant manager. And I do like the position that I'm in. I worked hard for it. Um, I get paid well for it. So, and I enjoy my job. So it's the same exact thing for politicians, you know. Are they in it for you? I don't know. You know, some some of them might be, some of them might not be. But it's like my passion, uh, being a restaurant manager. I enjoy seeing people have a good time. And if you don't enjoy seeing people have good times, then being a restaurant manager ain't ain't gonna be the job for you. So that being said, it's the same thing with the guns. You know, the gun community. I enjoy watching videos I follow a lot of youtubers um, and I'm telling you right now if you're a second amendment person I have respect for you and I always will as long as you're doing things safe um, by the book and just not being malicious with anything you know no ill will in your heart just getting out there and having fun you know so check me out you know I'm not doing this for money or anything like that because I work but at the second at the same time too ain't nothing like it ain't nothing like being a gun enthusiast you know um, I really do and my kids will tell you that I get home and there's nothing for me to pull something out clean it um, and just admire, you know, just admire my gun collection. So, if you feel like I do, you know, like this video, you can share it. I don't care. Um, but just know that if you're a Second Amendment person, nine times out of ten, I'm going to be right there, right beside your side, you know. So, thank y'all. Anybody that's supporting me out there, I really appreciate it. I, mean, I really do. Um, because at the end of the day you know life is short and I'm just like my dad my dad always said enjoy life to the fullest it's a shame that I waited so late <laughs> to get into you know the firearm thing um, but here I am and it's a hobby it's a lifestyle and it's probably one of the probably the best hobby I've ever had and mind you, I used to be an avid watch collector. So, <clears throat> with all the timepieces I have, I like my guns even more. Thank y'all.